Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. My name is Rudia's Revenge. It's great to have all of you here. Welcome, Genyo. Great to see you. Hopefully you are having a great afternoon, evening, or whatever time zone you are in. Um, so this is going to be kind of a different stream for me. What I'm going to be doing in this stream is that it's because it's my 42nd birthday. Doing good, thanks. Absolutely. We're going to ask a whole bunch of introspective questions that I believe all of us here can answer ourselves. We can chime in on chat or however, but this is mainly for me. And this is mainly for you guys as well, too, because I know I haven't streamed in a while. I know things have not been on uh, 100%. And things have, things have been difficult. So we're going to go ahead and start this. And I hope you guys take something out of this because I know that I will. So I'm going to be showing you guys this YouTube video that Rebecca Tripp created uh, probably about a, just a little bit less than a week ago or so. So this is stuff that I've been that I'm going to just going to answer and we're all going to hear. Hey, 46. Welcome. So here it goes. I decided to make this video as a kind of food for thought. In it, I'll ask 42 different questions, which are supposed to hopefully help some people to think about things maybe they haven't thought about before, or maybe think about things in a slightly new way. The questions are meant to be for soul searching and self discovery. So, I'm not asking people to answer the questions, but if you want to answer them in the comments, that's always fun for discussion, but some of them are also very personal, so please feel free to keep things to yourself if you wish. I simply want to inspire thought and introspection with some of these questions. Some of them you might have heard before, but hopefully there's a couple things in here that maybe you haven't thought about before. So, I'll start with number one. What do you wish people would ask you? What do I wish people would ask me? That is a very good question because I would love to have you guys ask questions about how, how everything has been every day and stuff like that, you know. I'd love to hear, like, you know, hey, Rydia, would you, would you love to play, like, a, a remake of this game or would you love to play another remake of this game? Oh, hello, Cars. Thank you very much for the reset. Rar indeed. So what what other there's there's a little bit more I think that she's adding to this. So okay, let's let's go back. Something that you would like to be asked. Maybe something no one's asked you before. Something you wish people would actively seek to know about you. So something that that would be active that people would love to actively ask about me. I would love people to know, like, ask me what I love the most, you know? Ask me to share my passions. Ask me to tell you guys all about why I love what I do and where I've been, you know, every day. That's just something that I would love to hear you guys ask me. That makes me feel very happy, so... Next question. I'll give a little bit of time for each one just to really think about it. Next question. What subject can you talk about effortlessly? What is something that you can just talk about all day and you don't have to think about it? You don't have to think of things to say. You don't have to feel any kind of anxiety. What's something that's just automatic for you? 
Well, that is a, that is kind of an obvious question for me. You know, what can I talk about all day? I could talk about Rydia all day. That's just that's something effortlessly, something that, you know, that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about Rydia, as you guys well know here. But there are some other things that I'm, I'm passionate about, such as, like, you know, computers, technology. It is something that I love doing. Um, that's, that's, that's what, that's the, the sort of the field that I'm in right now, you know. And yes, maybe it is a little difficult, but I still enjoy what I do. This is, this is stuff that, you know, we all have different passions for, so... And I hope you guys have your own passions, and I hope that in some way you guys can cross your passions with mine. Alright, let's go on. Next question. Next question. What kind of setting feels the most normal for you? What kind of situation, what kind of surroundings, environment, people, what just feels like home? It doesn't have to be a building, it could be outside, it could be an activity. What feels normal for you? What feels like home for you? So what feels like home for me? Well, me being surrounded by my seven cats around here. Being able to uh, share myself with you guys here, um, as long as I know that people are there, whether they are talking or whether they are quiet and happy listening, I know that you guys are my family and that you guys are definitely some some people that I that I enjoy. So what really feels normal for me is having you guys here. Having you guys be be here when you can. I know I, I know things do come up, but I I, don't, I love just being surrounded by by people that I know that love me. That's what makes me feel like home is that I have a family that I can share myself with you guys. Okay, that's question three. Let's go to question four. Next question, what is a compliment that you would love to receive? Maybe something nobody said to you before, a few people have said to you. What's something you would love to be complimented on? What's something that I would love to be complimented on? Maybe something nobody has ever said before? Well, that's a very good question because I know a lot of people have complimented me on, on when I do cosplays and stuff like that. One thing I would just love to be complimented on is is just sometimes you know the fact that I they, that I that I have gone out of my way after after a while of of soul searching and that I that I'm that you know that that I I, I do this because I love it. That, you know, I do this because I enjoy it, because you guys are here. I would love to just be complimented, you know, I would love to hear your guys' words, you know, just echo and say, Hey, Rydia, thank you so much for streaming. You really made my day, and, you know... When, either when I'm ending or when you guys are leaving or going going anywhere else or anything like that That's something that I would love to have, you know Because I know other people do have that, you know, and that's something that I would love to have so All right moving on Next if you were a god or a goddess What would your domains be? What kind of abilities would you have? What would you be a god or goddess of, or a deity? What kinds of symbols would you have? What kinds of animals? What kinds of people would you sponsor? What kinds of situations you would appear in? Just really think about that. What, what would you want to rule? What would you want to lend your power to war if you were a deity? Okay, so this is a good one. Um, 
I want to hear you you guys chime in on this. You guys can can answer as well too. You don't have to just listen to me. Um, what kind of god would I be? Obviously, I would. I think I would be definitely be something of nature. You know, in the in the past few years that I've done this, um, I've grown. I I have a, a strong affinity towards nature, loving animals, um, like cats especially. Though that's something that I really love. You know. The fact that I have seven cats is some, I think something that I, that I would just love to have, you know, just be kind of the person that has them, you know, defend me, defend other people, bring happiness, everything. You would love making uh, RPG maker games? Dude, heck yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, I can, see like... We can share passions like that, you know, I would love to make games myself, but, you know, I think I love IT as well. So, this is some good, this is some good things, because I think I would definitely be, be controller of a domain that would have a whole bunch of cats, would have a whole bunch of, you know, I'd have summoning powers, of course, I'd love to be, like, 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 the real Rydia is. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. She is kind of a goddess to me anyway. So, that's... I, I think that kind of goes without saying. But, you know... I had to really think about, like, well... What do I really love? What kind of animals? What kind of, you know, people? I just love all kinds. All kinds of people. Just people here, there. Just, you know... With Rydia's heart, everybody belongs. Absolutely. RPGs, I think, are the forward motion we society are, are moving more towards. Yeah, see, that's a, that's a definite truth to that. Because, like, you know, with, with all the media and, and Hollywood and everything going on, it's just... RPGs have a lot of place in our society. They make us really think. They put us in those characters' shoes. And you experience the same emotions sometimes as those characters. You guys saw as I was playing FF6 all the time. It was just amazing to experience that. All right, next question. Let's see, what's the next one? Next question. How does your mind work differently from other people? In what way do you feel that you think differently and maybe people don't quite get you or you're just wired differently? So this one is a good one. What way am I wired differently from everybody? Why do you think people don't get me? I think it's a lot. I think I think this is a, this is a good one because um, I'm very different from people. I have what's known as autism spectrum disorder. Um, I'm one of the few uh, men out there that that's 42 years old. That loves dressing up in a Rydia cosplay. I don't think anybody else out there does that very much. I, I maybe have seen maybe one or two people. You know, I think that's kind of what makes me unique and wired differently. Um, the other thing is, uh, is, is that sometimes when I talk to people and sometimes I, I experience emotions a hell of a lot heavier than others. You know, if, if people are having a great time sometimes you know i want to join in i want to feel like i'm a part of something and not just brushed aside you know a lot of the time and that's that's why that, in some ways it's always been very difficult for me to fit into communities because i am so different i am very unique myself i i'm very introverted and i have a lot of these feelings kind of bottled up in time Love the back and forth this is making. Yeah, yeah, you see, I, I definitely love doing this because we're answering Rebecca honestly from our hearts, you know. And you guys can answer as well, too. Anyway, next question. Next question. What kind of role model have you been overall, in person as well as online? What kind of what kind of role model would I be? I think you guys have seen kind of this in my Discord a bit. Um, there are 
some values of Rydia, and I'll just go ahead and read them off right now. Um, so, so let's go, let, let me just go from top to bottom here. Um, the heart is what matters most. Isn't that right, Cecil? Rydia is someone who looks beyond the superficial surface of who someone is and sees them for who they truly are inside. Rydia's can be any gender, um, LGBTQIA status, race, ethnic background, religion, culture, political affiliation, physical mental disability, or have any medical condition. It doesn't matter. Anybody can be a Rydia. You know, Rydia's learn to love and embrace um, these differences rather than let them separate people or cause chaos or conflict. And the second value that I have is um, is all about when she tells Edward Cowards, You're a man, aren't you? A grown man. Stop crying. I have. And, th and what this means is, despite um, facing a dire traumatic situation or experience and cause like PST, PTSD or grief of any sort, Rydia is one who doesn't give up on themselves, no matter what. And that's why I'm coming back. I'm not going to give up on myself here for you guys. You know, despite what happens in my life, I am still here. We are still going. We are not going to let the world destroy us. You know, we have lost quite a bit. We've, there are, we're going to turn these around and we are going to make them into strengths so that others don't suffer needlessly. Exactly. And um, the, last, the last value here is... Can't watch another person go off to die, you know. Rydia has this sort of value here that I'm setting a role model here that, that I that I sometimes, you know, it's not always the easiest one. I need to show true compassion and empathy for others who are suffering or help them in any way they can. See, here's the thing. Would people scream? When people put out their personas here online, they are often only showing one part of themselves. I don't do that. I show everything. My emotions are 100% real. I try to be as positive as I can, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes I break down, I cry, I get upset. Things do happen. I get jealous. I, 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 I curse. I sometimes, you know, just, it, it happens. But you know what? Rydia overcomes all this. Rydia still can show empathy. And that's what I want to show to you guys. That is something I strive for here for everybody. Every, every time. And yes, I may have failed in the past. I may have lost friends. I may have had terrible times. But we are gonna we, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna stay strong. Absolutely. freaking lootly. Rydia has the strongest char character of all the heroes in FF4. Absolutely. She is she is a role model that I try to I try to model myself after. You know. I take all of her best traits. And I do the best that I can to show positivity as best as I can. But sometimes it won't happen because I am also real to myself. And I'm real to you guys. I stay transparent. And I love everyone here. I do not want anybody to be hurt at all. And... The last value is Rydia recognizes all their friends and works well with, with them in order to accomplish goals using whatever means needed to summon all the strength within them. Yes, Rydia is somebody who, despite, you know, being treated the way she was, um, she still fought tooth and nail. She still summoned her strength to get down and go help Cecil. When that, when that happened, that was a big turning point in the game. And this is a big turning point in, in, in time, too. So, anyway, that was a long question, and I, I, I do apologize. Let's, let's just keep going here.
Okay. So let's go. Let's go on to the next question. Next question. In what ways are you the least like your parents? In what ways am I least like my parents? I would say a lot because my parents do not play video games. They are, they like to do quite a bit of stuff like farming. They, I, I, I rarely see, I rarely ever talk to them. They still do love me. I did see them last weekend and stuff like that. Absolutely. But the least way, the way that I'm least like my parents, they don't, they don't cross dress. <laughs> they don't cross play or cosplay or do any of that. Um, they don't know computers as well as I do. Um, they don't know <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I do um, because they, they're kind of, you know, more, they want, they were, they're more teachers. I am more of a person who likes, who's more technical, you know, rather than educational. I like to work on things. Rudy is one of the, one of the elements of solace in FF4. She gets, she is absolutely freaking lootly 46. All right, next question. Could be either parents, could be someone who may have you. What, what do you feel really sets you apart from them? Next question. What is something you would never be willing to do under any circumstances? No matter what was going on, what the situation was, no matter who was involved, no matter what kinds of pressures were placed upon you, what is a line that you would absolutely never cross? What is a line I never cross and something I never ever do? Hey Leaf, welcome! Welcome human, great to see you. Now I know I was drunk, but you really have changed. Yep, there you are. I'm answering uh, Rebecca Tripp's questions. For those of you guys that don't know who Rebecca Tripp is, she is a musician. She is somebody I look up to. She's a great person. I've talked to her. She is wonderful. Absolutely. So what what is the line that I'll never cross? Well, obviously I won't be a, I won't be somebody that intentionally goes out of their way to to make people feel bad. That is something I never do, obviously. I know, I get upset, I get jealous, stuff happens, but the line that I never will cross is I will not be a troll, I won't be uh, um, any, any, anything along the lines of like, you know, political or, or socioeconomic boundaries and stuff like that. I do not touch that stuff. So, I respect everybody here as equals. You guys are all wonderful. She seems like seems like good human like you, Chris B. <laughs> Down with those who enjoy hurting people's feelings. Exactly. Power. We need it. Alright, next question. Next question. What is the situation in which you have personally felt empowered? What is a situation in which I first personally have felt empowered? This is a pretty easy one for me. The very first time that I ever cosplayed as Rydia, when I hit 1,000 followers on this channel, it felt like nothing else. I felt like I was on top of the world. Absolutely. So, I mean, there's no... There's no other way of describing it. When I first did a cosplay, I did drag, I did, I, I, and, you know, doing the whole makeup, the whole transition and everything. Absolutely. It is, it was one of the most empowering feelings that I ever had in my entire life. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Power to the Rydia. Ah, you know it. Power to you. <laughs> Alright, next question. Next question. What are you embarrassed about liking? We all have our guilty pleasures. What's something that you love but you tend to keep to yourself? 
and of course you don't have to answer this one in the comments <laughs> if you don't want Okay, hey! What's up, Rosalind? Great to see you. We're going back and forth. This is Rebecca Tripp. Um, we're answering her 42 questions. I don't know what number we're on, but we're about four minutes out of 11 minutes into the video. Uh, so what am I really embarrassed about not wanting one people to know? Um, well, <laughs> the fact that, I mean, I, I, I do not keep my... I do not let people know about my Twitch streams in my real life very much at all. I do not let people know that I cross-dress other than people here and and possibly my parents. Nobody at my work knows about this. Nobody nobody elsewhere outside of my outside of my social circles online knows knows, you know, about that. And plus I always keep I keep my real name out there. And, and then I keep kind of my, my stuff here, so that's a very good one. Absolutely. How are you doing, Rosalyn? It's great to see you. All right, next question. Next question. Who is a famous person, alive or dead, who you relate to on a very deep, personal level? Who is a very famous person who I relate to on a very deep level? Well, um, she is somebody, I mean, I, I would say Rydia, but she's, she's fictional. We want to, if we want to talk about, like, real people here, I would have to say, um, just people that I, that I look up to. What? Woo! Boss time! <laughs> we demand dual lives. Living one life is dull. Yeah, see? Just got home from work, uh, and, ju and just poured a wine, but I have something on 20 minutes. Nice. Heck yeah. Um, so, that is awesome. I, I, I'll have to raise a glass to you. Cheers. So, that's a very good question. You know, I, I'm not sure how to answer this one. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of famous people out there, I think Michael Jackson is somebody I look up to quite a bit because the whole black or white thing, that was a big thing with me, you know, just, it kind of, kind of radiates, you know, doesn't matter if you're black or white, you know, we love, we love people, he loved people, he loved nature, you know, Michael Jackson, I'd, I would say have, would have to be kind of, kind of the person I look up to. A famous person, absolutely. All right, next question. Oh wait, uh, Forty Six had something here. I relate to Maynard James Keenan. Ooh, absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're we've got a Chrono Trigger going here. It's kind of set the mood. It's kind of have like the mystic mood. All right, next question. And I'll follow that up with. If you could spend a whole day with that person, what would you want to do? If I could spend a whole day with Michael Jackson, um, what would I do? Oh, that's a very good question. I think um, we, we would go rock out. Uh, we'd probably, you know, just uh, go chill I like some places. I, I would love to teach him how to play randomizers if he was still alive, you know? I would love to teach him how to how to play like some two-player video games. Get him introduced into into kind of kind of our Twitch mini culture here, you know? I'd love to share my share share my community with them. Absolutely. And then share share what I feel about nature and and, and talk about all that. Just kind of radiate between him and his uh Earth song, you know, that would that would be something that I would love to do because that that song is probably one of the most inspiring songs ever too. You look you look up to to Bono. That is awesome, awesome, Rosalind. Yeah, he's a good singer as well too. You look up to people that'll be born long after I die. Power to the future artists. Praise praise be to the nature. Absolutely, nature is a big thing with me, you know. Being Rydia, being green, and stuff like that—it's something that I I'm very passionate about. Absolutely. All right, 
Let's keep going. Next question. What is an example of something that makes you feel loved? What makes you feel loved? What makes me feel loved? What is an example of something that makes me feel loved? Um, well, there was one example earlier that Carse, Carse, uh, he, he reads up there. Of course, that, that's always going to make me feel loved. But however, that's not, that's not the only thing. Um, a better example is just having you guys here talking to me. Having you guys be a part of, be a part of the community and, 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 and actively being here talking, you know, just, uh, being there. And, and even if you guys can't be there, the fact that you're lurking or whatever you have to do in, in your lives and stuff like that, that shows that you care. I, I think a lot of, I think that's, that's a thing. Absolutely. Um, I, and I, 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 I always want to try to return the love that I can when I can. And I know I'm not been doing a good job on that. I'm going to work on, on myself definitely in the future. Love you, human. Praise be to the nature. You know it. Kitties make me feel loved? Yes, they do. They cu curl up. They cuddle. They purr. They meow. Absolutely. All right, next question. Next question. What is the most Did you like to go outside? Think about that. The type of play that you really, really enjoy. Well, when I was a kid, actually, I, I was still very introverted. Um, I had an old TI 994A PC um, that I did quite a bit on. I would love to just just play it. I didn't want, really want to be around other people, other than maybe just you know, just just kind of kind of just being around them, uh, just to kind of like play hide and seek and tag and stuff like that, kind of like the normal kid stuff. Uh, but you know, I just really liked some of the some of the one or two player games. Like I think one of my friends had an Atari that we played on. And then when the NES came out, oh my god, it was like a huge revolution. We are all playing Super Mario Brothers and Zelda and all these really awesome games. It was just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I was very introverted. I, 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 I was very, very much to myself. And I love sharing that part of myself with just maybe one or two other people with me. I never got into groups that much, so... Absolutely. You do a really good job, though. You make everyone here feel very comfortable, welcome, and appreciated. Oh, thank you very much. Big hugs to you, Rosalind. Alright, let's keep going. The next question. What is the most what would a paradise be like for you? What would it look like? What would it sound like? How would it smell? How would people behave? Would there be lots of animals? Lots of vegetation? What would the weather be like? The season? Would there be buildings? Think about paradise. What would paradise be like for you? Invent it in your mind. Your perfect paradise. Exactly how you feel it should be. It was a paradise for you. Okay. A paradise for Rydia. For me. I think uh, that would definitely be out in nature with a whole bunch of green-haired women. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, uh, just the... Uh, and just, you know, just all of us just kind of, you know enjoying it out there, being out there, being with a lot of the people that are there. Oh my god, thank you so much for the gifts of Murda. Woo! Making the sun
Donuts. Power to the green hair women. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love to have a whole bunch of people. You know, I, I have talked about something called uh, Tifacon or Ridiacon and stuff like that. That would be a paradise for me. Getting getting with a whole bunch of people that just have the same passions as Ridia. Whether we're all cosplaying as her or not, you know, just having the, that same level of passion there. That would be part of my paradise as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Leaf. I appreciate that. <laughs> Love her hippie type of presence. She's lovely. She is. Yeah, Rebecca Tripp. I play her music in my stream quite a bit. And I feel like, you know, I I, I feel, like, feel like she definitely has had a huge impact on my life. And so that's why I'm kind of doing this, you know? All right. Um, I think my music's going to loop around. There we go. <laughs> All right, next question. Next question. How do you spend the majority of your time? And be honest with yourself. What are you actually doing? What are you spending the most time thinking about, feeling, looking at, engaging with? How do you spend the majority of your time? Well, um, the majority of my time is spent at work, <laughs> to be very honest. Um, I do a lot of IT work. I work 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Sometimes overtime, it's been pretty rough. Um, after that, I just kind of, you know, chill here. And that's what I have been doing, you know, for a while. Sometimes I stream, sometimes I rest. Uh, it really depends on the day that I've had. Um, really depends on... Um, on a lot of the things like, you know, if people are actively engaging in the community, I, I feel more empowered. I feel feel like I'm on top of the world and stuff like that. But there have been times when, you know, things don't go so well. People don't talk. Some things have happened in their lives that I'm not aware of. And I have to be conscientious of that. And it's not always the easiest thing. And sometimes I come off as somebody who's not the best but that being said you know most of the time what I'm doing is while I'm at work every now and then I'm checking my discord I'm checking my Twitter I'm making sure that if oh what the freaking hell happened here Give me one second uh oh did the stream just go down oh shit Uh-oh. Stream is still up? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, it's just the music then. Okay, cool. I just had to fix that there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It was just on YouTube side. Alright, next question. Next question. How would you describe your taste in movies? How would I describe my taste in movies? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you very much for the lurk. I appreciate that, Leaf. Um, how would I describe my taste in movies? I love The Matrix. I love like anything sci-fi and fantasy related. Um, anything along those lines. Like you know, I watch Game of Thrones, even the even the crappy last seasons and stuff like that. Absolutely. Um. So yeah, that, that's kind of my taste. Let's let's see what you else what else she was saying here. Not just genre, but go a little deeper than that. What do you really look for in movies? Maybe it's in the soundtrack. What? Here they come. No, 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 no. Is the director? Maybe it's a particular kind of emotion that you go for. What is your unique taste in movies? Okay, so that's 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 a little bit bit more deep than deep than that. Okay, so I love Star Trek. I love just uh, a lot of uh, a lot of like you know 
the, the way that it was directed by Jonathan Frakes, uh, the, they, the, those movies were some of the best. Um, and then, of course, like the older ones, like done by Gene Roddenberry, were always good. Um, th that's kind of that's kind of sort of been my thing, you know, in movies is just sci that kind of sci-fi. Um, I believe there's like other movies out there that have been have been pretty similar to like TV shows that have been out there like Babylon 5. Oh, got nailed by the dark elf. Nice try, Rosalind. But yeah, that that's kind of kind of my thing that I look for is just kind of the, that same next generation kind of feel to it like Jonathan Frakes. I love Star Trek. Live long and prosper. So that's why you guys always see see me say live long and prosper a lot of the time, so. <laughs> Next question, what do you feel is the worst trait that a person can have? What do you personally feel is the worst character trait in another human being? The worst character trait that somebody could have um, is just somebody who's just a an absolute jerk. Uh, just somebody who just blatantly... I, it's not just about like just saying swear words and stuff like that because we all do. It's just somebody who is just blatantly mean or anything along those lines. Um, is I know, and and then it's not just mean mean people though. Ignorance, people who uh, just don't listen to you, people that just kind of you know turn their backs and stuff like that. Sometimes it can appear that way to me. So you guys have to be mindful sometimes that I don't always see it the same way that everybody else does. You know, I, I sometimes, you know, see ignorance a lot of the times where, where I, whereas it, people are just busy, you know, people have things to do. That being said, you know, it, I don't I don't blame anybody here at all. You guys are the best people that I've been with. You know, those of you that have stayed this long after three years, you are the you have been some of the best people in the world. Absolutely, you like data, huh? Data is awesome. Rather, someone who is a jerk and someone who is too too manipulative or too char charismatic i don't trust trust too much charisma yeah 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 ignorance is definitely the worst it's just that sometimes it doesn't always sometimes people don't always mean it that way you know in a community when, when people don't talk when people don't chat but people have stuff to do it happens absolutely Oh yeah, hey, hey, absolutely. Welcome back, Stone Nuts. Great to see you. Happy birthday! Woo! Hey, Alex. Great to see you as well. <laughs> we're 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 answering our 42 questions. We're about a little bit more than halfway done now. Rebecca Tripp, wonderful musician here who loves what she does, and I play a lot of her music here as well too. All right, so let's let's keep going here. So let's see what we got. Next question. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. I appreciate you. Next question. If you were a work of art, what kind of art would it be? Would you be a painting? Would you be music? Would you be a dance, a movie? Would you be food? What calls to you? What, what do you feel is you? What art form? really expresses something about you? I think um, a lot of the art form that it really expresses something about me would definitely be summoning dances. You know, cosplay and summoning dances is kind of like, you know, what I would be. Just somebody who's always just very... has a lot of emotions going on who's very ritualistic, spiritual in nature, always very dynamic, summoning, you know, that's what, that's what it, that's what being Rydia is all about, you know. I mean, I have my own work of art right here of Rydia, 
If I would be a painting, this would be this. <laughs> it would be something like this. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the other thing is, I also I also play clarinet as well. So I'm 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 working on that a little bit for you guys. So you guys may may actually hear hear some of that in the future. All right. So let's keep going here. Next question. Who might be the most genuinely good, kind individual you ever personally know? Okay. This, the most genuinely kind individual that I know. I don't know if she is here right now. But she is one of the, the legends in my Discord. And her name is Miss Silver. Ever since I met her two years ago, she has stuck with this community through thick and thin. She has always made me smile. She has always been... She was the first person I ever found out about that actually had the Rydia.com website. And she expresses so much passion for what she does in acting and also like theater and stuff like that. But she also streams every now and then as well too and she cosplays as Rydia. Absolutely. No, I didn't paint that. I just bought bought that one. <laughs> this, this was something I bought on uh, Redbubble, by the way. But yeah, Miss Silver, if you are here tonight... Thank you for being who you are. I really love you as a person. And I'm ha very... you Because you have always make, made me happy in this community more than anybody else at all. If I had to pick somebody. I and mean, of course, every, Rosalind here, you, 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 you're you awesome too. Uh, you, you've always been here. I know you. when you've always been here, you've always had great vibes as well. 46 has been great. I mean, I, I could go on and on. Um, but if you guys want, really want to see why people are who they are, check out my Discord. I have, I have reasons why everybody is who they are. But if I had to pick one person, it would definitely be Miss Silver. I love her very much. She's been the most kind person to me in this world. All right, next question. Next question. What ordinary, everyday thing makes you feel tired and drained? So, something you engage with often, something normal that doesn't necessarily drain everyone, but for you, you feel exhausted. Well, um, since I'm very introverted and stuff like that, if I have to take a lot of phone calls at my job and stuff like that and have to talk to a bunch of customers that are upset, or anything like that. That can be emotionally draining for me. I just want to kind of come home. I kind of want to just crash. I just, and that's kind of why, kind of where things have been with me, you know, is because my job had been that way for a little bit of, bit of time. So I've been, I've been trying to adapt to it and, and doing better. Think I should clip that? Oh, definitely. You, I, I will, I will. So this is in, a, in a, what about 51, 50, 49 minutes or so? Absolutely. If you guys want to clip, you guys want to clip anything, feel free to do so. You guys are free to clip anything in my channel. Absolutely. Let's go, boss time. All right. Um, yeah. So dealing with a lot of like unhappy customers can be mentally draining. So I'm sure if any of you guys have ever been in a tech support role. That's the way it has been. So, anyway, next question. Next question. Which person do you feel that you've personally helped or benefited the most within your lifetime? Next question. Okay, who do I feel like I have benefited or helped the most? I would have to say there is one person in this community, you know, just through my stream alone, that I think I have helped. Um, his name is Gamer Josh. I don't know if he's still around and stuff like that. He used to go by Spooky Josh. 
But he was addicted to drugs and stuff like that. He was going through a really hard time in his life. And when I was streaming, streaming, I was, I, I actually helped him come clean. No. And Josh, if you are still here, I believe he still follows me. I don't know if he's watching right now or where he is. Um, thank you very much for, for that. That means a hell of a lot to, to me to hear you say that after a while. Because he's been, he, he's definitely, I think, somebody that has used this channel as something very positive. Absolutely. Power to the LB people. Absolutely, Leif. Absolutely, freaking Leif. I have absolutely no idea how to clip, except, of course, when I do it accidentally. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a there's a clip button on 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 the stream somewhere, and in the mobile app, it's, it's got it's like it's like a little thing. It's a little icon with a like a little action button. <laughs> that, that's how you clip. Absolutely. All right, next question. Question, what beneficial thing is currently undervalued within our culture? What beneficial thing is undervalued in our culture? I would have to say, um, something that, what is undervalued is, is the fact that we all have unique traits and characteristics that often go unnoticed. And are often swept under the rug. You know. If you have. I don't know if you guys have looked at Twitch lately. But there are a lot of people. That. Kind of you know. Are making it big on here. And stuff like that. But. They may not be the happiest people on here at all. I think. You could. Anybody can play a video game. Anybody can play Fortnite, anybody can play Overwatch, anybody can play Elden Ring, or whatever is the most popular game that's out there that everybody is playing and stuff like that, to try to gain growth, to gain money, to gain fame, and stuff like that. But it's, but, the thing is, is that these people often sacrifice a lot of, of, of of intrinsic values, I think that that they lose when they when they are true to themselves. I don't do that here. That's why I am still small, because I stay true to myself. You know, and yes, I made mistakes. I get upset. I get jealous. It happens. But you know what? I I apologize. I'm sorry. I have I have problems. But you know what? Those problems, those problems will get solved. They get resolved, you know. And those that have that have stuck by me have become stronger, you know. They have helped me to become stronger, and they have been the true, the true friends. You guys, you guys, absolutely. Forty six. He's been here a very long time. He's seen it all. If you guys ever want to talk to anybody besides me and wondering, well, hey. Why did so many people leave? Talk to 46, you know, if you're not comfortable talking to me. You know, I know I haven't been getting any DMs lately on my Discord or anything like that. But that's fine, you know. Everybody has lives. Everybody has to do stuff. Everybody has, you know, X, Y, and Z to do. They gotta, they gotta take the, the kids to school. Gotta, gotta take the pets, you know, give, change the litter boxes. Go do, go mow the lawn or water the plants, etc. You know what? It happens, you know. I don't expect everybody to, to be here 24-7, no. And if I felt like I've, I felt like sometimes I put that that out there that I do, but it, and that's a mistake. That's something that I'm trying to correct. So I apologize for that. So anyway, we all make mistakes and that's what makes us humans, exactly. Quit the Discord a, over a year ago. It is still good, absolutely. All right, here we go. Next, what do you think is currently one of the most challenging problems in society? One of the most challenging problems in society right now, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of hatred going on for 
protected groups like LGBTQIA and stuff like that. That's a huge challenge going on politically. I'm not going to discuss too much of that. Um, but, you know, all I know is that I am an ally here. I, 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 I care about people. I care about making sure that people are get the medical treatment that they need no matter what, you know, that everybody is taken care of, both physically, mentally, and, and just always surrounds themselves with people that they are, are that, that love them no matter who they are. That's what, that's what being Rydia is all about. Absolutely. You must protect them. Absolutely. All right, next. Next, what makes you forget about the world? What makes me forget about the world? Um, whenever I am streaming, whenever I, whenever I just kind of, you know, focus on my job and stuff like that, I do forget about what's going on right now. We all know what's happening in the Ukraine and Russia. We don't talk about that stuff because we, we want to talk about video games. We want to talk about people being being awesome streamers and loving Rydia and stuff like that. So that's so to take our mind off of that, that's why you guys are here. You don't want to hear the news. Nobody wants to hear about all the crap that's going on in in, in, in the government or politics and none of that. You know, we're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy ourselves. We're here to be as a community, interact with each other talk to each other and be there absolutely getting a tattoo of a rainbow with the word ally written on it in honor of my rainbow daughter designed it together that is freaking awesome Rosalind you know eventually I want to do something like like that but with Iridia because honestly I think Iridia she she means all of that and more to me she's she's a symbol of hope She's a symbol of something that I believe we all love. We all are here for her. And she's very much a real person or a or a spirit in, in a lot of our eyes here. And I think everybody agrees that you guys would not have, would not be here if you did not love Radia. So anyway, that is so cool. I'm looking forward to, to seeing that Rosalind. That is awesome. All right, next question. Next question. Which person in your life do you behave the least authentically towards? Who are you the least yourself around? Next question. Which person in your life do you behave the least authentically towards? Who are you the least yourself around? I had to hear that twice because I wasn't too sure about 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 it. Who am I not around? Who do I just kind of like, you know, do not want to be around? Obviously, just, I don't like a lot of those people that, um, that, that are, well, <laughs> that, are, that, that are those streamers that do ASMR and like hot tubs and stuff like that. I don't like them at all so <laughs> let's just leave it at that you know I, I I don't like those kinds of people that just kind of you know are, are big show-offs next question what is a negative experience in your life that you're currently grateful for what is a negative experience in my life that I'm currently grateful for I can think of one thing Absolutely. Someone else, not me, by the way, farted, farted a hole in the Citadel. We must work together on a solution for it. Absolutely. You know, um, what is a negative event that happened in my life? You know, I got, uh, when, when I was uh, going for a teaching career in 2006, I failed. I cried my eyes out. I because I wanted to follow in my parents' footsteps and stuff like that. However, that was a huge turning point in my life because I was just like, you know what? Um, 
Teaching wasn't for me. Teaching isn't something I wanted to do. I did not like doing um, high school, being around high school students and stuff like that. I was more technically inclined, more logical. I like messing with computers, helping people troubleshoot. I, I, I majored in math because that's what I love, you know? I love all the logic and stuff that goes with that. So I'm thankful that that happened and that I'm not in a career where I'm teaching and making myself absolutely more miserable because I don't think I would be here if I was if I was that. Absolutely. I mean, no 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 offense to anybody who is a teacher. If you are, I I, res I highly respect that career. But it's just not for me. It's it's something that takes a lot of altruism. You know, because you have to deal with uh, students, you got to deal with their parents, you got to deal with other teachers, and you got to deal with uh, administration. So it's it's a tough job, and, and it's and you're managing 150 people at once. So <laughs> there you go. Next question. Next, how do you think other people see you? How do I think other people see me? Well, I think, you know, a lot of people see me as somebody who is very passionate about Final Fantasy IV. I think a lot of people see me as somebody who's very technically inclined, that really loves doing solving problems. Uh, they, somebody who loves doing a lot of... Uh, Doing, doing loving, loving, loving nature and stuff like that, and cats, you know. Uh, I mean, what do you guys see me as? You know. <laughs> Praise be to, to the logics. They are extremely logical. Absolutely. <laughs> Studied years of human development because I wanted to work in that field, but I finished studying and have. Stayed working in a shop because I really love it. Absolutely. And I have absolutely no financial goals. I like this stress-free life. That is awesome to hear, Rosalind, you know? I'm surprised. I, I, you know, it's funny that you say that it's a stress-free life. Um, because, you know, a lot of the times I talk to you, you know, you, you're, you're just always pretty slammed with everything, so... <laughs> I'm just glad that you are, that, that your job doesn't give you so much stress that it just makes you go crazy, you know? <laughs> I would have never thought of that about you. That's, that's, that's great to know, you know? I, I, just, I, I had no idea. I just work on my game and chill? Absolutely. That's, that's what you gotta know. Uh, talking to, I, talking to an army recruiter on Monday, thinking of re-enlisting, see how it goes. 35, I'm 42, so there you go. <laughs> Seven years apart. I, honestly, you know what? If that's for you, if that's what you want to do, more power to you. I worked in the military before. I'm not working there now. I'm, I'm, I'm working as a tech, so. All right, next question. Next question. What person in your life has the most influence over you? What person in my life has the most influence over me? Well, I think you guys already know that Rydia has, has kind of the most influence over me. But if, it's, if we're talking about real people, like real people here or there right now, I would have to say, um, obviously, Miss Silver, I already talked about her. Divine Rydia, 46. In my community you guys have a lot of influence in my stream and stuff like that um outside outside in my real life you know uh, i think would have to be like some of the some of the people i work with uh they have quite a bit like my boss lisa uh, she she has quite a bit of influence on what i do and stuff like that <laughs> yeah, life is stressful it is less stressful than a career it, it is Praise be, absolutely. Invest my time into family more than work. Yeah, see, that's the other thing is, you know, a lot of the time we have to have balances, checks and balances, you know. 
It's just, it's always a thing. Alright, alright, so let's see. Next question. What, if anything, do you think is likeliest to be the root of evil in society? What is the root of evil in society? Well, um... There was this whole there was this whole discussion in math that says that, that says that money is the root of all evil. Well, um, I think that's partially true, but I think you know it's greed. It's it's just you know wanting so much so much things that you know the more that you want and and take the the the, the more of a more of a mean person that that you are you know and. I'm guilty as charged, you know. I'm not. I. I've. Wa I've wanted stuff that other people have, you know. We. We all wanted. Want better lives for ourselves. We all want to be making those six-figure salaries. I'm not. I. I'll tell you right now that I am not. I. I think that you know. It's. It doesn't matter. You can want as much as you want, but if you want too much, you're only gonna make yourself miserable. Absolutely. So, definitely some things to think about here. Absolutely. That's my time in a family more than work. Well, well, work has been crazy for the last few months, but I'm at least supposed to be just part time. That's good. I I I really hope that your work levels off a bit, because you know I would love to love to make to make your uh, work life as stress-free as I could, you know, if I'm streaming here. Absolutely. All right, next question. Next question. What five words best describe you? These can be any words, adjectives, nouns, doesn't matter. Five words that best describe me? Um, let's see. Well, Rydia is number one obviously um i would have to say lonely is another one you know that i'm always lonely a lot of the times and i will admit that but you guys always make me less lonely um very uh n nature that's another one uh, i love nature stuff like that uh what's another what's another word um green you know, I love green. <laughs> and, um, let's see what else. Logical. Yeah, logical is, is would be the last one. Absolutely. That's my time and family more than to work. Whoa, crazy. Oh, I already read that. Love to get more into a minimalist lifestyle. I'd love to clear my house of 75% of what I currently have. But I'm also really lazy and can't get around to it. <laughs> I hear you, you know, sometimes, you know, when you just come home from work, you just kind of want to just crash, you know? <laughs> and it's understandable. We all do. So, just hang in there. So, yeah. Rydia, logical, green, nature, and loneliness. Those, those are kind of the, the five words that describe me. <laughs> all right, next. Next question. What principles and values would you say that you believe in the most? Anything do you think is likeliest to be the root of evil in society? Next question. What five words best describe you? These can be any words, adjectives, nouns, doesn't matter. Next question. What principles and values would you say that you believe in the most? Sorry, I had to rewind it a little bit there because my cat was meowing and I couldn't hear what she was saying. <laughs> um, principles and values that I believe in the most. Um, obviously, uh, Equality, you know, just uh, just having everybody here uh, feel like they're they're a part of the community, being being equal with each other, you know, 
embracing friendship and stuff like that. That's that's another principle that I love here. The fact that anybody can come in here and then they can talk and not be afraid. That's that's something that I'm working for. I know that it's something yeah. That I'm gonna work too, but absolutely. Late for your thing, gotta go. I'm so glad I got to be here though. Have fun everyone, and thanks for streaming radio. Absolutely. Live long and prosper. And, and take it easy now, Roslyn. Radio, radio shall be with you always. Alright, next question. And I'll follow that up with, do you always consider these principles when making decisions? Absolutely. I, I, I do consider, you know, my friends, I do consider, you know, when making decisions, a lot of the times I, I try to, to, to put everybody's perspective in, into view and stuff like that. Whenever I'm streaming, whether I'm helping people in life and stuff like that, I always make sure that I do um, what I can do. And sometimes it doesn't turn out that way, but, but I do the best I can. Absolutely. Next question, what stories, movies, games, or other media do you feel have influenced you the most as a person from childhood right up until the present? <laughs> this is kind of an easy one. I, I wonder what. Final Fantasy IV, Rydia. Uh, it's just, it's written all over me. You see it all here. <laughs> That she's influenced me the most, but also Tifa as well too. My name used to be Tifa's Revenge as well. She was somebody also that I that uh, has influenced me quite a bit. So, absolutely, somebody that I that I've really grown to love is Rydia, especially just in the past three years that I've been streaming. So, and then um, that's just something that I've that I've that I've loved. That I want. I, it's just it's always been there it's it's just been there since child my my ch my late childhood early teenage years so there you go all right next question next question what is something that you would do differently if you knew that nobody was going to judge you for it and again please don't feel compelled to answer if you're uncomfortable just something to think about Well, a lot of the things that I think I would do differently is I'd probably shut my mouth quite a bit more because, you know, I know I've driven people away. I know I've lost friends. I know I haven't always been the best person uh, to people and stuff like that. And sometimes I just need to know when to shut up and and just, you know, whenever I'm in other people's streams, I need, I need to kind of, you know, just either just watch or, or just kind of, you know, take a chill sometimes because... It can be a little frustrating sometimes for anybody, you know, when things aren't going your way and then, and then all of a sudden this other person is getting so much stuff, you know, it happens. We get, we are humans. So a lot of the things that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, I'm trying to improve that so much, you know, I'm trying to do what I can to, to eliminate that from my, um, from my mental state. Absolutely. So, excellent. Next question. What is something you needed to hear in the past but never did? Words that never came at the right time. Something that I needed to hear in the past. Well, I think a lot of people have said this a lot of the times. And... Despite how bad things have been right now, I'm not alone. I'm never going to be alone. You guys are here for me, you know, absolutely. This human is strangely entrancing, is now being questioned by a witch. Power to the witches, he is here for you. Yeah, Rebecca Tripp is... It, definitely a trip. No, <laughs> no, she is. She is an elven woman. You know, she 
has a definite magical sense of personality to her. And she brings that out in her music quite a lot, you know. And I think a lot of the time she's an underrated person. I, I love her for what she does. Absolutely. You know. You know, and, you know, a lot of people will always tell me that, you know, no matter how bad it is, I'm never alone. And I always need, I need to keep hearing those words. I need to keep knowing that I'm not alone. I keep need to keep knowing that, that despite all the chaos that's going on right now, the war, gas prices, food, people being homeless, all that stuff happening, we're all still here. We're all, we all still love Rydia. That's who we are. You know, you guys just didn't, don't leave. Just know that this is the truth. We love each other, and that's what matters the most. I think, absolutely. All right, next. Next, what kind of person do you look up to the most, and what are three traits that this kind of person tends to possess? What kind of person do I look up to the most? Um, somebody who's always, you know, happy with themselves and stuff like that. Somebody who I can talk to. Somebody who I can relate to, you know. Um, somebody who, the, the, the traits that they have are just like genuine, uh, um, unadulterated, uh, unrequited kindness, you know, no matter what's going on, the person's always kind, you know, that, that's, that's the kind of person that I love the most, um, second one is somebody who will talk to me, somebody who will not judge me, or be mad about things, because, because I have ASD and stuff like that, and because I am not always the most stable human being, and third person, third trait is just somebody who's just, who's just always, you know, willing to embrace changes. Somebody who's always willing to put up with the good, the bad, the ugly. No matter how bad it gets, they're still there. That's the kind of person that I always look up to, you know. Absolutely. Judge only those who judge. Embrace everything. Exactly. Gives us the good, the bad, and, and the ugly. <laughs> Absolutely. Next question. How do you think a stranger would perceive you based solely on your internet history and social media posts? How do I think a stranger would perceive me? Um... <laughs> If I walked out in my whole full Rydia cosplay outfit, people would look at me and I'm like, who the heck is that? Because well, a lot of people don't know who Rydia is out there in the, in the real world. We're a unique set of people here, you know. Probably more people would know about Tifa and stuff like that, but still, you know, Final Fantasy IV is not very well known out in society, you know. It's, it's, it's a unique thing. They would, they would, they would look at me and be like, you know, who's this person cross dressing as? You know, is he trying to, trying to audition for Drag Race or stuff like that? <laughs> I mean, because that's what I love doing. You know, I love dressing up as Rydia, not just because she's a woman, because of her whole soul. You know, the whole soul of it. And people don't really understand that outside of our community here. Oh, uh, there may be a few other communities in the Final Fantasy realm and stuff. So, that's something I think people would look, would, would be wondering, who the heck is this person? Who is Rydia? I want to know about this, because, you know, they'll see me in this is in this green dress. They'll see me in this wig, and just wondering, what? What, what is this person on? <laughs> so that's what I think. Basically, they would have we would have no idea. Yeah, we are unique humans, absolutely cultured humans. I learned to read off of Final Fantasy IV, played it at the age of eight on on good old SNES. Those people, those <laughs> Steins. <laughs> 
Yeah, it'll be very interesting. I'd love to see some reactions. Maybe maybe one of these days I'll 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 go to a convention. You know. I mean, that's the other thing is is that if I just cosplay without going to a convention, just go to like some random bar or something like that, people will be, be wondering what's going on. But anyway, next question. Next question, what is a quality that you would like to possess? Maybe something that you feel that you're lacking, or something that you would like to develop a little bit more within yourself. Penultimate question. Okay, so what you were saying is, what's a quality that I want to um, possess? I kind of want to have a more engaging personality, so that more people will chat. I feel like sometimes that doesn't always happen here, you know? I'd love to, to find a way to get over my ASD to kind of, you know, be this kind of person that you guys love. Be this kind of person that, that this channel was all about, you know. You know, just take the best of Rydia and then take the best of what it means to be somebody who is a good streamer and run with it, you know. I would love to do that for you guys. That's the kind of, kind of person that I'd love to say, love to be for everybody here. And in real life... Um, I, what I would really love to be is just somebody who's always able to, able to, to fix things no matter what happens. I, I would love to, love to be that, 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 that guy, you know? Absolutely. You know not what the ma majestical power that Radio possesses. You see, a lot of people don't. And that's why we're doing this here, is this is, this is part of it, you know? Alright, penultimate question. In what ways do people most often misunderstand you? In what ways do most people often misunderstand me? Um, I think a lot of the times people misunderstand me that, and it kind of pushes people away, is that, you know, whenever, whenever I'm in my Discord and stuff like that, um, I want somebody to talk to sometimes. And nobody is saying anything for a very long time. I sometimes I shout, I yell, and that's and that's because you know I'm lonely, and and and, and that happens because a lot of people have communities that do talk that are more extroverted, and I kind of you know feel like I'm always misunderstood, and that and that I and that people are pushed further away from that, and that's and and there's no reason. For that to happen because a lot of the times I just overreact a bit because sometimes I just want to have somebody here talking to me. I just want to have people that that I know can that that share my values, that share my experiences, somebody that's that I that I know I can always turn to. 46 has been excellent in this regard as a moderator and a lot of the times he'll help help me get level-headed and and back into the into the sort of quote-unquote game and stuff like that and you know uh, something that, that that we're gonna work on here community has been broken several times we're gonna fix it this is this is the start of the journey guys you guys are all here with me we're go it's gonna happen, you know? Don't give up on me. Don't give up on yourselves. And don't give up on Rydia herself. Because the, the magic here is real. We just, we just have to work together to make it happen. Because you guys, believe it or not, I value every one of you here, even those that, that aren't talking right now, are just sitting in the back right now, just kind of chilling, you know, wondering, wondering well, well, why is Rydia saying all this stuff? Well, you know what? Because I need to. This is a, this is a stream about being transparent. This is a stream about life, the universe, and everything. Everything that is Rydia, you guys make the magic as much as I do. I just play games. You guys, you guys make the magic happen. You know, the way that you guys interact with me, it's valued. It's very much valued here. More than you guys can ever make, you know. 
I don't ask anybody to sub. I don't ask anybody to do bits or anything like that. That's optional. If you, you guys do that because you want to. You know, not because I have to. You guys are here because you want to. Not because you have to be here. Absolutely big hugs. So we're never going to give up on ourselves. We're never giving up on Rydia. None of, nobody is ever going to. Um, never ever going to do that and it and I'm sorry if, if those of you that aren't comfortable with this that that it's making you unfollow or something like that but just know that you know I do care about everybody here even if I do or don't show it I do care deep down you know when and when somebody leaves it affects me it affected me a lot back in November when I lost some people. But you know what? We're going to make new people. We're going to make new friends. We're going to make new roadblocks. It's going to happen. The castle can be rebuilt. New friends can be gained. You know? We made mistakes. Everybody does. You know? We are going to... Do it. We're gonna be there. Absolutely. Deep thinkers are among us here at the Citadel. Absolutely, 46. Alright, last question, hopefully. And the final question is, what do you really need right now in the present? So what do I really need right now in the present? Hey, Clutch! Welcome! Great to see you. I'm around just here in the dumpster. <laughs> like Oscar the Grouch, huh? <laughs> and it's okay. You know what? That's fine. We've all been there. We've all felt like, you know, we're trash. We've all felt like, you know, somebody treats us like trash and stuff like that. But you know what? The thing that I need the most right now, I would say, is just... Just, just, um, just people always just, just reassurance, reassurance that I, that you, that I am a good person, that despite all the stuff that has gone bad, that, that the Rydia is strong within us, like the force is strong within this one and stuff like that, you know, the re, that kind of reassurance is, believe it or not, it helps me. It is something that, you know, it, it is something that I value and something that I feed off of you guys, you know, and, and if I don't give back, don't give back, I apologize. It doesn't mean that I don't want to give back, but you know what? I do my best that I can because, you know, I'm an introvert. I have ASD. Sometimes I don't know what to say back, and sometimes I just say certain things one way or another, and sometimes they get interpreted differently. It's, it's, it's okay, you know. Know that my heart is 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 with you guys. Know that I do love you guys, and know that you know we're gonna we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna we're gonna work all together to make the streams be good like they were in the past you know whether you guys want to plan some events whether you guys want to do any sort of of i don't know just get togethers in in, in the discord maybe you guys want to want to come into voice chat maybe we'll do jackbox just whatever you guys want i'm here i don't want anybody to feel like they're left out I do not want anybody to feel like, you know, they cannot raise their voice or that they have to be silent because, you know, um, silence is something that, 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 it, that, believe it or not, is very negative to me. You know, it hurts. I, I understand that people have lives and stuff like that, but you know what? I care about all of you as well. So when you don't talk, I worry. You know, I I have feelings. They get hurt sometimes. But you know what? I I, I do my best to try to to try to, you know, restrain them.
to try to, you know, be strong, to stay strong for you guys. And it's not the easiest thing to do as a streamer, you know. And that's why I'm being so transparent about this, because this is what we struggle with as streamers. This is who we really are. And don't let anybody else think, tell you otherwise. Don't let anybody else say anything otherwise, because you know what? They're absolutely bullshitting you if they if 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 you think that 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 streamer is always happy, you know, because they're they're streaming, they're playing games, they're always happy and stuff like that. Yeah, you're chatting with them because yeah, maybe they're an attractive woman. I don't know. It's just whatever it is, you know. That's not who, who they are. I gar I can guarantee you, all of us go through this. Every one of us. So, just stay real to yourselves. Stay as best and true to yourselves as you can because that makes you a better person. All right, let's uh, see what she says at the at the very end now. So this is something else that was a little bit different. Hopefully, this has given you something to think about. Maybe you've already thought a lot about a lot of these things I talked about, but even so, I think it's sometimes important to revisit these types of ideas. So, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Okay, I think that uh, that's it. Um, yeah, Rebecca, if you if you are uh, seeing this, thank you for making that video. I really appreciate that. I think our community, we're gonna we're gonna work really hard to 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 rebuild everything here. We're gonna work really hard to get get our get our name out to to to, to let people know that we're that we are valued here. That we do value Rydia and that and that those values are not gonna be silenced. Thank you so much, everybody. I will be right back and we're gonna play some Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. Woo! Alright! Let's do this! Let's get hyped! Kiddo, how is the health? Did you learn anything? Yeah, that ripping pow induces spontaneous joy. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Random Number Generator.